Okay, so thinking about the images that I just showed you up on the screen, you're going to look at your line contour drawings that you did and your realistic drawings that you did. And between that and the composition that you have so far with your collage, you're going to decide how are you going to make this into a cubist composition by showing different views of an object, showing movement, or breaking your object up into shapes. Okay, so I've cut out my drawings that I like. I've got one realistic and two blind contours. Um, so what you want to do is kind of play with your arrangement. I'm not sure I even like this one here, so I'm going to pull that out for now. Maybe I like it this way. So I decided I'm going to make my composition go vertical. So I've got one realistic drawing here. I'm going to add another leg coming off here. And I'm going to add another arm. I think behind that. The other thing that I want to do is I want to have a, an arm here, but I want to actually make it look like it's reaching up. So I'm going to trace over these lines that I already had here. Okay, so I've got that traced. And I think I'm going to move this up from where I initially thought. I'm going to put, rearrange this again. So now I can have one arm extra arm facing up and extra arm facing down and then I'm going to add an extra leg just at the knee. They don't bend that way but in my picture they're going to. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down and then see what else I want to do. Are these extra zombie kind of looking figures? And maybe I want to put those in. I'm just going to save those for now. So I'm not sure. The other new thing that we have today is this tracing paper. So you can see through this. So I wouldn't recommend putting it over your focal point, your main object. But you can use it to cover up, to fade out some other areas. <laughs> 